it's April 1st. Um, I kind of skipped the end of March. Um, it was just, it's been raining and it's been boring. So I didn't record much. Um, it's about 3 in the morning on April 1st. Um, I don't have any April Fool's Day prank or anything. It's just a normal video. Um, but I have been packing to go on a trip. So you'll see that. Uh, well, for you it'll be right now. Get some bacon for the trip. Yup. Okay. Opening the door. Cut my hair. And that means I'm ready to go. We got bags. camera which I'm gonna do a time-lapse of the entire trip there and I'm then ready to go just gonna get my helmet on head out I can't film when I'm leaving cuz I'm gonna have this in my pocket but that will be going and there'll be a lot of pictures and I'll have to find some music or something but anyway transition <laughs> That clip was 4,917 pictures. That's how many pictures are on that SD card that my GoPro took. Hello, Jimmy. Hello. What? What are you watching? I'm watching a, uh, a review. <laughs> I hate this. You should, uh, you should critique the review of that game. Yeah, I have no reason why I'm watching it. It's really funny. Game spot live. I'm trying to figure out how to get to uh, a geocaching event, and 
my GPS told us to go this way, but there's like racing cars. It's pretty cool. Uh, this is just the trucks. See, there's one. They go like this, you can see. It looks like they're all, like damaged a lot, so. It might be like a demolition dirt. Demolition race. That'd be cool. I don't want to go see that one. I'd watch that. See, look, there's there's one moving over there. That's or cool. it might not be a demolition. It might just be a regular. It race. It might just be a regular <laughs> race, and they just <laughs> they just happen. To well, get there's damaged. no there's no track though. It's just like uh, it's like a dirt track over down in that stadium. Oh, so it's like rally cross. That's cool. I think it's a dirt track anyway. Oh, hello. <laughs> Did you record? Yes, I've been Your recording. Your about American Pickers? Today? Yeah. Oh, we need to open it from this side, I think. Here. Open the gate. No. Not into the rock. Against. Forward. There you go. <laughs> okay. So, there's, uh... Old things. And we're, uh, doing this event in Reading where we have to find eggs. They gave us papers with coordinates on them, so we're looking now for eggs, I guess. Whatever it is, it's cool. So we're finding eggs. We found that many so far, and you can see our trail is kind of haphazard because we're just going to random points in this place. It'd be cool if this place was like open for a Hiking for hiking, trails? if it wasn't private property, you could hide them. Here, it's this way. I, see I think it might be that one. I thought we'd get to find like one or two, but we're like finding ten or eleven. And they don't even have very good stuff inside of them, like candy. Fake chocolate. Bad candy and... Uh, a bouncy ball. Oh, well, bouncy balls are cool, but the other ones have like chickens and not real chickens. <laughs> no, artificial not. chickens. Not. Like um, Maybe like when you have that. Oh yeah, I cut my hair. If you didn't know, um, like the cup noodle flavor packets. Those are fake chickens too. So anyway, we've got a couple more to find, and then we walk back. Yeah. Where is he going? Come back over here. Okay, he's going away. There's another one. And sheeps. I don't think it's sheep. I think it's just simply sheep. And here's here's the human. The grossest animal of all. He scared me. It's okay. <laughs> he's camera shy. Here's one of the goats he came. don't want to escape. Yeah, I don't want it to escape. <laughs> See, as soon as the door's closed. Oh, look, they're all coming over here. See, why are they... Why are they all coming over here now, Jimmy? They heard the gates open, so they're like, we can get out. They want to get fed. We can escape. There's another one. Hello, goat. Hello, goat. Oh, how do we get in here? Right that spot, right there. <laughs> yeah, it's this spot right here. Right where the gathering's happening. <laughs> this is a mini horse. It's fully grown. It's fully grown, and it's almost... It's slightly bigger than a goat. <laughs> it's a bigger head, at least. Yeah, you have a bigger head. But it's a fully grown horse, and I mean... It's pretty small. Probably take it and like treat it like a dog or something. Put it in the house. And well, it's a little. It big. wants to eat my finger. Don't let it bite because they bite hard. <laughs> Even though it's little, it's still. It's a very tiny horse, and it's fully grown, like we've said. It's just 
interesting. It's got very short legs. Yeah. And this one, this is a fully grown bald eagle. No, I'm just kidding, it's a chicken. And there's other chickens. And here's the human again. Oh, police carry with a boat. That's what's going on. Interesting. I wonder uh, why they're there with the boat. Yeah, they're going to go into. <laughs> they're going to go in the little canal right there. Very funny. We're here at the Food Max, and uh, and there's this thing. Nimka. Ingredients are carbonated water, sugar, that's it. It's basically just sweetened carbonated water. It's not. It'll, it takes a little while to focus. It's not focusing. Maybe I need to move it back a little. There it goes. Carbonated water and sugar. So it's basically just unflavored soda. I don't know. I want to try. Kind of looks like sugar water too. Is it like yeah, it's like just like carbonate, carbonated sugar water. Is all it is. But I want to try it. So. I've tried it before, and I distinctly remember like a kind of a lime flavor, like a lemon lime kind of flavor. So are you sure it's it kind of it's kind of suspicious that they would just have water and, and carbonated water and sugar. Because it doesn't really taste like that. It tastes like there's some yeah, flavoring it like to it. Yeah, it would be like a lemon lime. So it's like... Carbonated water. What else are they hiding, you know? It could be like poison. Car they wouldn't put that on the ingredients. Yeah, carbonated they wouldn't. Carbonated water, it would sugar, be and poison. Probably some mind control devices that they can use to... Uh, to we monitor must the be populace. In the foreign food section. Because we have Yan Yans. <laughs> and also, strawberry cream. Snack. Where is it? Are you lucky today? Star plus fish equals starfish. Are you lucky today, goat? <laughs> Moo cow. And these bottles has a Japan or Chinese or Asian lettering on it, and they have like weird grips on them. Like, see the. How do you hold it? Do you hold it like this, or like just? To grip it. And how do you open it? Either? I don't know how to open it. I I know how. I'm pretty sure I know how to open it, but this has weird little bumps and stuff on the glass. I want to find the Korean section. Where's the Korean? That way I can show uh, Mike of Korea like what kind of Korean food, foods we have here. Here's know. the Korean food. See. No, it's like chicken chipotle. That's Korean. It's not <laughs> Korean. It's probably somewhere up there, up on the very top. It's the Mexican section. We've got the jaritas. I kind of like the uh, um, effect. This. Can you take pictures with this? Tamarind soda. Oh. You yeah. can take pictures, but not while you're taking video. Uh, because I kind of like the vanishing point effect that it goes down the aisle. There's just so much stuff. Oh, yeah. You can get, move over here. It'll be even more dramatic. Even more. Yeah. I kind of like it better when it's like that, though. Because it shows you, sh you can see more of the stuff. Oh, yeah. We had some dinner, or we got dinner, at that place. Can you see the name? It's called Chipotle. I know. You could all you could see Chip, but uh, the Shasta County Fair is going on. You can see a uh, Ferris wheel. I think there. that's what it's called. At least it's like the uh, some sort of fair, some sort. Of interesting sounds. Look at that thing. It looks bigger in real life than it does on the 
video. That's a spinny thing. We should eat the burritos while on that. <laughs> the gravity will keep the uh, rice attached <laughs> to our clothing. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we probably won't go to that just because it costs money. I don't think it's a twist off. I think you need something to uh, pry it open with. Oh. Yeah, it's. T Unless you're like a manly person who can do it with I'm your not. teeth. <laughs> I'd rather not break something. The closest. But I will use a can opener. No. That's not gonna work. This will work. I don't know what carbonated water tastes like. I mean, I can imagine. Mm, kind of smells like lemon lime, like you said. Hmm. It's interesting. What does it just taste like? Lemon lime or anything? Or it has like a slight lemon lime taste, but maybe it's just because you're expecting it. You know what I mean? No, like I think there's other ingredients other than carbonated water and sugar that they're just not telling you about. It's a conspiracy. That's against FDA rules. You have to say what it is. Well, they don't go by the FDA. It's oh, another the country. Product of India. It's an FDI. Federal Department of Indian like FDIA <laughs> Federal Department of Indian Agriculture Indian ag agriculture goes by different standards Look, it has 15 milligrams of sodium uh, Is there sodium in carbonated water or sugar? I don't know, Main, no maybe Because sodium, sodium is basically salt So maybe th there are carbonated other Carbonated water, which is just carbon dioxide bubbles in water and sugar. There's no salt in those things. But so what kind of sugar are they talking about? Maybe they got sugar from, like, limes oh, or something. Be lime sugar. <laughs> <laughs> sugar from citrus. Is it good, though? It'd be better if it was cold, I think. Oh, okay. But it's alright. I mean, I wouldn't drink it all the time, but it's, it's okay. And later, we'll try this, Rockstar Relax. It's like a negative energy drink. <laughs> negative energy. It's like the opposite of a regular Rockstar. Yeah, it's like, but it'll probably have the, uh, because Rockstars usually just make me kind of, that has no effect on me, so I wonder if, the re relax will have another effect on me, like make Maybe. me energetic rather than relaxed. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Either that or like it'll make or me Or it'll feel. just have no effect, like Rockstar. Yeah. Rockstar. Just the effect is the taste. Yeah, it's just a, either a good or not good tasting drink. It's no effect on my tiredness whatsoever. And the design of the bottle. I think we already mentioned this. I don't think I recorded it. It looks pretty uh, energetic, don't you think? It's like rock star, relax, yay! Little bright colors, high contrast. Not very relaxing. Yeah, it's not a very relaxing design. I'm sure it's probably sideways right now. It's just not very relaxing to me. It looks like it's gonna make me energetic. This like takes me a while to realize. Oh, it's relax. Not rock star, holy crap, tons of energy. I'm gonna try this, but I'm not ready to go to sleep yet. I don't know if this is gonna make me tired, or so I'm just, I'm just gonna try a little bit, but I'm it's curious has overcome, overcome me. It's that rock star relax drink we've been talking about. It's very weird. <laughs> That's it's like non-carbonated. That's your reaction to everything. Like, you have that face, and then you're like, I like it. Or, that's weird. No, it tastes, it's... 
It has a scent to it. Yeah, I can it's very, smell it. Very sweet. And it, it tastes like a mix of bubblegum and peach. If mm -hmm. I had to explain it, it's like peach bubblegum. But it has that, um, the uh, aspartame or artificial sweetener aftertaste, which I don't really like. So it tastes like a diet soda without the bubbles, but then it's like diet peach bubblegum soda without bubbles. <laughs> That's how I would explain what it tastes like. Okay, uh, that does sound quite unusual. Diet peach bubblegum. Do you like it? That's been sitting up since flat. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's not something you'd buy again, would it? Probably not, no. Yeah. Wouldn't buy again. Jimmy is now trying relax. Is it like I said? Kind of. Bubblegum peach? I think it would be better carbonated. You think so? I think so. Mix it with a Red Bull. Alright. <laughs> See what that does. So we'll have a energy plus relax. It should be neutral. <laughs> yeah. Should just be this very, this kind of very strange tasting drink with no effect whatsoever. It, it might have no taste either because it'll be like. It'll have a taste, I'm sure. <laughs> I know, I know, but if it's neutral, energy... no, just neutral effect. It's just a, it's a relaxing energy. <laughs> and Red Bull is usually like extra carbonated, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I see. yeah, I guess. What color is that stuff? It's like yellow. <laughs> it's like weird. I'll put a anyway. little more of the rock star stuff. That's in fine. There. Try Let's it. Just mix it around. <laughs> okay. It's actually not bad. It's not bad? Not bad. And you probably need to add a little more Red Bull. Has absolutely no taste because the uh, energy and the uh, relaxation neutralized everything. <laughs> <laughs> Including the taste. I can smell it though from here. It smells just like Red Bull. That's it. And maybe I need to add a little more to Rockstar. I think you already have more. I think that just has... This doesn't have much flavor on its own, and Red Bull has a lot, so I think just even adding more of that is going to be It just tastes little like, effect. I don't know, it's like a sweeter Red Bull. Okay. And a, a little less carbonated. Yeah. It's almost midnight, uh, and uh, I'm talking to my viewers. I thought you were talking to me. No, I would never talk to you, Jimmy. But anyway, I, uh, I'm working on my video. It's difficult. I have over 5,000 pictures, and I have to arrange them um, one by one. So you can see, my GoPro made four or five folders. Uh, it's thinking still. But it made a bunch of folders, put a bunch of pictures in them. So I imported those into Premiere, and I'm dragging 999 pictures at a time into the timeline and then I'm taking that entire timeline and I'm stretching it to fit well I'm not really stretching it it's uh, the resolution of the videos is this interesting Jimmy do you think it's, it's interesting what I'm talking about I don't think people listen all the way through they'll be like too long didn't listen oh well basically it's a lot of work to do this so, well, maybe to some like video editing enthusiasts. Enthusiasts. Yeah, well, they might like to know how to do this kind of stuff, maybe. <coughs> maybe. You could probably make like a tutorial. Oh no, that's not good for it to happen. What's happening? Adobe Premiere Pro CS5 has stopped working. No, that's like hours of work. Did it save? But it probably automatically saved a couple times. Every 20 minutes. Well, I saw it automatically save at one point while you were working on it. Okay. 
So it Hopefully was, it didn't lose too much. Yeah. I think you were figuring out how to uh, do the cropping and stuff. Mm. Mm. 